gentlemen, to another exciting, fun, and possibly suspenseful episode of Saturday Night Nightmare! Yes, that's right, and with the howling of the wolf. Yes, I'm going to do that each time because I (laughs) fucked up so many times before. With the howling of the wolf, we are getting this night started Mm -hmm. properly. Indeed. And tonight, um, I have something fun. Oh. Kind of like a, kind of like a a train to boost on fun, but not that ultimately fun. Okay. Uh, This is a 1991 Wes Craven original. I do enjoy Wes Craven. Yes, it's a movie called The People Under the Stairs. Mm, Now, I've heard of it. I've not seen it that I can recall. Yes, um, but it it, it is a very interesting movie, very interesting plot, but it it has the, you know, the next door neighbor, what's the next door neighbor doing by it? Oh, fun. Yeah, yeah. Fun. So, we're definitely going to get that kicked off. Mm -hmm. And, ladies and gentlemen, just to let you know, that this episode, of course, is always and forever will be supported by Wild Bill's Craft Beverages. Mm, yum, yum. That's right, people. Just put in that code, True Story Bro, and get mm. yourself 10% off of yes. all that delicious goodness. But we'll venture on that more after the show. So stay tuned till the end. Mm-hmm. But until then, strap up, get yourself a drink, some snacks. Strap up oh, or yeah. strap on. Oh no, strap up just like this movie. Oh, You'll see what I'm talking about Ooh. on this movie called The, the People, People Under, Under the, the Stairs. Start the shit. <laughs> I'm Benny Brain. Mm. You're right. Leroy Jenkins. That's <laughs> not Leroy. My name's Poindexter. We'll be hung up on them tarot cards. Alexa, turn off right couch. Well, I'm on the okay. Phone. Alexa, turn off left couch. Yo, Ben and Victor. You gotta be out tomorrow midnight. Alexa, turn off left couch. I guess Ruby didn't see that one in the cards. Okay. Why? What the hell? Apparently, Leroy Three Jenkins makes the lights go off. Overlord. Uh, what is your fork? Well, it must have fallen somewhere out on the floor. You don't know? No, I, I'm sure it's on the floor. I mean, I know I dropped it. You know the punishment for losing silverware. I'm sure it's right here. I see what you mean. Girls burn in hell. You said this was a fucking horror comedy. Jesus, it was on forever. No bars on the windows. That's a danger, though, right? I don't know how he got past that one. She's got next to an eyeballs. Spencer's as slippery as a snake. Plus he's white. He's up to Not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. Like grabbing that coin collection. Interesting. I done busted this house to church. It's open right up now. Oh, ho, ho.
Not being malnourished for very long. Yeah, well, and he got yeah. hit in the liver basically yeah. with buckshot, so. Can't really survive that long. Brother and sister act? Brother and sister. Oh, I forgot about that. The craziest family you ever heard of. Every generation more insane than the one before. Oh. 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 take on the whole you know kind of taking the whole poverty routine the yeah. whole if uh, a racist like a racist uh, family who was completely psychotic and cannibalistic was basically living next door in your, in your neighborhood type thing yeah um, I get that kind of but I mean yeah I mean as far as the people next door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They really weren't the people next door though. They were the, like the land barons that were ruling over the ghetto. They I didn't, didn't want to give up everything, but no, it kind of no, no, has no, that I take know, I know. The people in the neighborhood, the strange people in the neighborhood. Yeah. Um it, there was definitely I, I mean it he definitely used the themes of racial inequality like really well. Like mm -hmm. Because you know, if that many police officers got called out to a black person's home, 
they would have tore that place apart. Yep. They would have opened every nook and cranny, but because they were a well-to-do white couple, they were like, oh, we'll take your coffee and your cookies. You don't have kids? Oh, okay. Oh, we see this room. Oh, oh she died a while ago? Okay, fine. Oh, you have all these other rooms. Wow. Oh, it's a family house that we had for generations. Like, yeah. Seriously. But yeah, I mean. Crazy. What, I mean, it is, it is basically an original story from Wes Craven, from his sick little head. I liked it a lot. You know, bless his soul, but yeah, he, 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 he had a, yeah, had an interesting vision for this. Um, it's very 90s, as you can tell. Oh, yeah, but at um, the same time, it was, it, I mean... It was catchy for its age. Yeah, it totally, you know... Just like how Scream was for its age. Exactly, it out, yeah. exactly. You know, it's like, oh, I can relate to this, these people, because it's in that time period. Right, right. And this, this was, this was released the year of the Rodney King riot. Yes, it was. So and and the time of the first Gulf War conflict. Exactly, exactly. Because there was that that one. He, oh. The people under the stairs were watching the TV, yeah, no, and I remember it. sitting in the living room with my parents and seeing that infrared, like the the night, the night vision, vision yeah. footage of the the missiles going over um, over the the Middle East. Uh, so that was kind of interesting. But yeah, like, no, now, okay. Um, now I know. Yes. Even for both of our sakes, the movie wasn't as scary in the traditional sense. It had, its, it had like, a couple of mo. you know, it had moments. It was creepy. Yeah. It was definitely creepy. It had a creepy. creepy factor. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, we don't, you know, it doesn't always need to be like, <sighs> Of course. To, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. Um... And I think that the, the creep factor is what did it for me anyway. Because between, oh, there's like these weird things that they've, cre you know, essentially created and they live in the basement and they're cannibalistic and, and things like that. But I was more creeped out by the people, the, the man and the woman. Especially finding out the revelation that they were brother and sister. Yeah, but even before that, he like shows up in a full leather gimp suit, and I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, just strap up me. Because, well, that's strapping on. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Because, um, first off, gimp masks freak me out anyway. I just think they're so fucking weird. Um, listen, if that's your kink, fine, but it, I, no. We don't kink shame here. No, no kink shame, but. But, that's, that's just not her thing. Yeah, no. But anyway. Anyway. Um, but yeah. So that was, and then, I knew, like, even though he, it was inferred that he was beating Alice, mm. he was not beating Alice, he was beating Alice. Oh, yeah. And I was like, that is, that is not, that's the, that is not cool. And those, and those are the, those are those little hidden things that yeah. you see, they don't imply, but just like how you said, you pick it up. Yeah. Just like how you said in, um, uh, what's that movie that we saw? It wasn't gory as hell, but oh, when we saw, um, uh, Texas Chainsaw, how that one scene was so suspenseful. When the, when he was chopping that person in half, yes. and had that one on the meat hook. Yes, they didn't show all the gory shit, but you, but could you just filled it in. And yeah, that's, and that's basically what there this, was this... enough inference that you could fill in yeah. those blanks yeah. yourself. Yep. Yeah. Um, I what I love I loved Fool. <laughs> like first off, I when I saw that kid, I was like, I know I've seen him in something. And I mistakenly thought it was the Goonies, but then realized, oh, it was the Sandlot. Confirmed it on the Googles. And I loved him in the Sandlot, too. Like, he's just such a great kid. I, well, now, he then he was a kid actor. Um, probably, we were probably about the same age, because he's what, like, well, he's supposed to be 13 in this movie, so. so he might be 11. Yeah, so yeah, about we were about the same age because ninety one I was ten. 
Uh, <laughs> and yeah, so he's he, like, his character was fun, like, so what, relatable, relatable, like, but what a good kid. Yeah. Think about it. Like he's, yeah, you know, he was going to knock over this house with his sister's boyfriend, I guess. Or the guy who or wants friend. to get with her. I don't know. I don't know. But it was Leroy Jenkins. Leroy Jenkins. And he ended up like Leroy Jenkins. He ended up dead. Leroy dead, chopped up, eaten, and everything. Yeah. Um, but I gotta say, what a waste of meat. But you like, get the rest of the meat. Right? Anyway. <laughs> um, but like, you know, he he only was gonna knock over this person these people's house to help his family. Because they own all the all, all the stuff, including right. their building. Including their building, and they were going to evict them, and, like, their mom's dying, and I totally get it. Like, listen, desperate times, yep. desperate rusher situation. But then he gets there, and, like, first off, yeah, he's like, holy shit, these people are psychotic, and I need to get the fuck out of here. Mm. But still, Roach helps him out and gets him some of these coins, enough to be able to, like, help his family... But he wants to go back, not because he knows there's more money there, but because he needs to help Alice. Right. And he's, what a loyal kid. <laughs> like. This is a reminder oh. about physical therapy at 7.30 a.m. This is a reminder no. about physical Alexa, therapy. Alexa, stop. Sorry. <laughs> um, I have physical therapy tomorrow morning at 7.30. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, what a good kid, like, as much as I do, um, but yeah, so, um, Alice's character was well done, like, the actress did that very well, you know, it's almost like she was trapped in almost like a wonderland. Well, not even, just, oh no, she knew she wasn't in a wonderland, but she knew she couldn't say anything. Yeah, she was Because she would end up like Roach and the other people under the stairs. She was literally stuck. And she almost had that, um, shit, what's that syndrome? Where you fall in love with your captor. Stockholm? Stockholm syndrome. Because she had the opportunity to get out that first time. Yeah. And she's like, no, I don't know what's out there. I can't go out there. It's safe in here. Even though she knows very well that it's not safe in there. Yeah. And so, but she, she played it in such a good way of that, you know, tortured soul, but in the way of needing, you know, but still needing to get out. Um, and we both we both basically agree mm -hmm. that the woman yeah could have been played by Catherine, Catherine Hahn. Hahn. Yes. Um, I mean, this is a bit early for Catherine Hahn's career, yeah. But like, totally could have. If they it. did a remake, which I believe they are, oh, she could be. That would be great she could be she her in a second, and I would love to see that because she is. I just love Catherine Hahn. So what's your favorite scene? Oh my god, favorite scene, favorite scene, favorite scene. Oh, that's a tough one. Okay. You can think as much as you want because I'm just going to cut it once you think of it. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, I actually really... I really enjoyed... That whole sequence with Roach helping Fool go through the tunnels and, like, get get out until, you know, up until he, he dies. I just, I really enjoyed Roach. Like, I know I've seen him in, like, that actor and some other stuff. Can't put my finger on it. I'll have to look it up. Mm -hmm. But, you know, he it was just, like, this cool, this cool moment. Um, and like I said, I think the most disturbing was when I first saw the man in the gimp suit. Yeah. 
I was like, I think I literally said, what the fuck? Uh, but. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, what would you rate it? Mm. What would you rate I the s- people under the stage? Because it had that creep factor, and because it was incredibly entertaining, uh-huh. um, the effects were were fun. The makeup effects were fun. And I know you love the, the practical of the house. Yes! That was so fucking cool. I want a house like that with all of the secret passages, but just not the psycho, like the psycho things and stuff like that. Um... I would say seven because of it was just like a full package. I didn't find anything lacking in this movie. And it kind of got to the point. Yeah, there there was no slowness. There was like, you know, there was good good enough exposition without it being overwhelming. Um, The plot was easy to follow. It had, like, wonderful little twists and turns. Like, here you're laughing, and then, like, two seconds later, you're like, ugh. <laughs> um, you know what? Actually, I'm going to raise it to an eight. Oh, oh. I'm going to oh. raise it to an eight. Switching it to an eight. Switching it to an eight. Switch seven to eight. Because, like I said, full package. I would have liked a few more jump scares. I think if I had gotten a few more of those, it probably would have been a, a nine or ten. Wow. I just, I really enjoyed it. You really did enjoy this movie. I really enjoyed it. I'm pleasantly surprised. It was well acted. Because that's that's the other thing. And because it's so hard to find a a horror movie that's... Decent acting. 100% decent acting. Yeah. And every single person that we saw, even Leroy Jenkins... (laughs) Ben Reigns. (laughs) Was in... Was... He played it like he balls to the wall. Okay, right. I'm this. I'm like this. This crazy ghetto character. I'm totally gonna play this right, crazy right. ghetto mm-hmm. ghetto character. Um, and uh, the guy, the guy who played their friend Scout Scoot, whatever oh, the fuck yeah, his yeah, name yeah, was, yeah, yeah. he kind of like reminded me a little bit of like Woody Harrelson's character in <laughs> Zombieland, just the attitude. It's like, it's so, <laughs> I mean, you see what I'm, no, I'm I saying, do. right? I do, I do, I do. But yeah, no, the acting was great, plot was great, um, you know, sets were fun, uh, it was, you know. Everything it, was great. It was great. So you hear that, folks? Eight, Eight. out of ten for this young lady right here. That's right. What would you have given it? Not a, I actually would have given it any. Yeah? Because I enjoyed this movie when I was younger. And it creeped me out then. It still creeps me out now, uh-huh. even watching it. So, yeah. But since this was technically kind of like your first time watching this, mm-hmm. this was this was all for you. That Dolls one, that was all me. <laughs> and it got me. I know it did. It got me. He thankfully didn't have any nightmares that I know of from that one. No, no. No nightmares. Just looking over, just looking around the house nowadays. <laughs> Anything that looks suspicious, <laughs> even that that little lamp thing back there. Oh, but because I I was frightened by goosebumps when I was a kid, so yeah. But anyway, yes, eight out of ten for the people under the stairs. Yep, Wes Craven's nineteen ninety one classic film, and uh, that will be the end of this episode. Yes. I appreciate you watching this and actually enjoying it, but you know, yeah. as, as much as I, I had a I lot of fun with yeah. it. So uh, tune in next week, people. Of course, we're going to be here, same scary time, same kooky channel. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, also, to let you know, like I said earlier today, this video is brought to you by Wild Bill's Craft Beverages. It is a soda with a purpose, and it is owned and operated by our military veterans. So please support them. Mm -hmm. And also, you can get refreshed by any sodas, iced teas, lemonades, and other uh, things that they have onto the culinary side as well with their hot sauces and barbecue sauces and other apparel. Mm -hmm. Uh, You can get them on drinkwildbills.com. 
And in the checkout area, just put in the code True Story Bro. You can get yourself ten percent off of any purchase. Mm -hmm. That's right. So I feel that this was a good success. Mm -hmm. I'm glad it was. You know, I, I was kind of eerie. I didn't know how you were gonna feel about this because, again, see, I've noticed something about our taste in horror movies. Mm -hmm. Like they're different. Yeah, like some some of yours are very traditional horror yeah. movies. Mine's on mine's are unorthodox ones. Yes, which I don't always enjoy. Yes, I know. Like we know the ring. I'm mean, sorry, the grudge. She didn't really enjoy that. Um, it wasn't her forte, but hey, you win some, you lose some, it's okay. And she, I, she, she didn't, she, I don't want to say she didn't enjoy it, but she, she wasn't a huge fan yeah. of, um, what was it? I saw the devil, but she dealt with it, so. The plot was good. The plot was good. Again, like, I have a, I have a different, It I was guess, just miss. I pre represented like you said, a little. Like, like, like I said, Sorry. we no, it's okay. We have different um, things in, in, when it comes to horror movies, and that's okay. Yes, because I feel that I'm introducing her to another side of horror movies mm -hmm. that she, whether she is going to be a fan of it or not, she appreciates the fact. Yeah. That because she's the horror fan in this I house. will always find something yeah. she's the that I like about a movie. Exactly. She's the huge horror buff in this house. I mean this this show is literally like for her. <laughs> you know, so it's a it's a way for us to watch horror movies every week and just laugh, get scared, or literally get bored out of our minds, depending on the movie. Depending on the movie. <laughs> but anyway guys um, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. It does help. And of course, if you're new, subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you can be updated on all content of Saturday Night Nightmare. And also, and also, yes, and also, hmm? and also, if you are interested in a certain thing, such as giveaways Ooh. we are trying to hit 500 mm. subscribers here on youtube so if you can help us with that there is going to be a giveaway for the first 10 people random 10 people in our subscribers list mm. so come on hit that subscription button and listen if you have friends that like horror and you like us, but they don't like us yet. Share, share us with your friends. And as usual, guys, comment down below. Comment on if you've seen this, if you like it, if you hate it, and give us more suggestions. Indeed. I believe this is a, a, a suggestion in our list because it was a, a suggestion. I think so. Yeah. So, guys, if you're interested, just remember. What's the line? Line? <laughs> Come this way. Uh, we're going to keep it real. And we're going to keep it spooky. But just like these little tykes and this one over here, we're going to keep it real spooky. spooky. We're going <laughs> to...